Oh. Of the lowest periods of carbon in the atmosphere in not only recorded history, in the history of life existing on the planet. In December of 2022, you told the Washington Post we need to remove 1.6 trillion tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere via direct air capture. The cost for that is about $1,000 per ton or $1.6 quadrillion dollars. Now, I said you said you didn't know, but since 2015, since the last El Nino, about 500 billion tons have been have been emitted into the atmosphere. During that same period of time, 2015, if you look at the temperature graph, this is from NOAA. The temperature has gone down. Show the next slide. This is from NASA satellite data. Temperature has gone down. You want to have the uh, have uh, the American taxpayers, my constituents that are having a hard time afford their groceries, pay for a car, buy a new home, spend one point six quadrillion dollars to fix a problem that a doesn't exist. And as a matter of fact, you might be exacerbating because it's unknown. It is unknown at this time the low level that of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that might actually destroy life because plant life mm -hmm. all depends. As you know, Secretary, plant life all depends on CO2. And when we kill it, then we're done, too. I yield the balance. Congressman, yeah. let me just say that uh, I don't agree with what you're saying out there for any number of reasons. I don't have time to go into all of them now, but I'll just tell you point blank that the difference between the periods you're looking at in terms of heat, et cetera, and human, human input is night and day, number one. Number two. Why do you think 195 countries in the world, their prime ministers, their presidents... Because they're grifting they're, like you are, sir.